Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Sharif Muhammad. It's an honor to have been asked to join the Academy to assist in this important work. Um, my background is history uh, with a focus on um, the enslaved African Muslims and the role of Islam in shaping African American culture. Um, I've taught history for 16 years, but I've been inspiring others before becoming professor. Uh, I embraced Islam in the early 90s uh, at the height of the crack cocaine epidemic in this country, along with the racist and hypocritical war on drugs and the draconian prison industrial complex that resulted in mass incarceration. The irony here is that during that time, there was an uptick of conversion to Islam in the African-American community. And the reason in part has to do with the fact that the Muslim in these economically deprived communities was almost like a rose growing through the cement. Um, they presented an alternative to the self-destructive lifestyles um, and the life damaging conditions that envelop them. Um, so Dawah in the black community goes back to the 1920s where Islam was presented as a solution to many of the problems afflicting black communities. Since this time, we have developed um, a method and lingo for talking to men, particularly in this environment and showing them how to change some of their conditions. Currently, I create content for the Black Dollar Network, and we are an organization that brings the message of Islam uh, to African-Americans, particularly in impoverished uh, neighborhoods. Um, we have been involved in gang intervention. Um, Islam in these communities has, uh, the Muslims, the African-American Muslims in these communities has a very uh, long and protracted history of community policing um, and giving meaning and purpose um, in a in a mixed light. Um, so this course that I will be teaching this semester will look at some of the ways to effectively give Dawa in the African American and Latino and urban communities. Uh, we will look at the obstacles to giving Dawa in these communities and how to respond to those obstacles. Um, in addition, the student will learn the history of Islam in the United States and the insights we can glean from the past. So that ultimately, we want to be able to articulate Islam in Black and urban and Latino communities in this era where there is so much uh, racial strife and injustice. And people have asked the question, what good is religion in a time like this. So, you know, I look forward to seeing and hearing from um, you all as well as learning from you, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. I will also be facilitating the second portion of La Dawah to Latinos. And in this specific course, um, we want to explore the relationship between Islam and the Latino culture and how it's influenced the Latino culture, both from a theological perspective, as well as a cultural perspective. We wanna look at the language, the moral principles, and other aspects of the Latino culture that we can use to leverage our ability to deliver the message of Islam to the Hispanic and Latino community. The Hispanic and the Latino community are one of the, are, are the fastest growing community within the US and, and Islam. And so we want to be able to learn about their background, their religion, their culture, and what makes, and make a connection between 
their culture and Islam to help us effectively deliver that message. So I look forward, inshallah ta'ala, to seeing many of you to, for this class, many of you with this class, and take the opportunity right now so that we can, you know, to register and we can learn together at that time. Register soon and don't be late, inshallah ta'ala. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakum wa khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah.